Hello everyone and welcome back to Battle Cats. Boy, have I got a lot to show you today. So first of all guys, my last video on Battle Cats was recorded like a week and a half ago because I had to prepare for Indie PopCon and now this video is being recorded the day it's supposed to go up, so I'm sorry it's a little bit late, but my point is guys, it's been a while since the last video and I have made a ton of progress. I got 2 million XP here, I've been grinding out a little bit, and the best thing that I've gotten is Awakened Bahamut. I finally beat into the future, chapter three, Moon. I was gonna do it for a video, guys, but I was like, I'm gonna mess around and give it a try now. Hmm, this seems to work. Oh, I won. So, yeah. Let's take a look at this guy first. I gotta say, guys, I have never been more impressed with a unit than I am with Awakened Bahamut Cat. This guy is nuts. So, now it says his power and speed is unmatched. This guy is the fastest unit I currently have, which is really weird because usually Bahamut is really slow. He's like, uh, here I come, it's me, Bahamut. Whoa, whoa, got him. So now guys, he has been freed of the suit which shackled his power. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but I guess it just means he's way better now. Okay, let me let me show you. All right, let's just start off with a cheap stage here, guys. This is Glutton Next Door, the first level in the three-star version of Never Summer. So it only costs 30 energy. I'm gonna get Bahamut, and I'm gonna show you how good he is. Oh no, there are some people coming towards me, and get wrecked. Look at this guy. So it takes, the, the thing about him is he is like a point blank range unit, so he has like no range whatsoever. So if he's in the front and there's some powerful enemies in the front, you better hope you kill him or else they might kill him. He's gonna get knocked back, but the thing is, you know how it takes him a while to do this whole ah, thing, I don't know what it's supposed to be. If he gets knocked back while he's doing this thing that he does after he attacks, he'll just keep on attacking again. So it actually like removes the cooldown on his attack. And it's really awesome. I mean, he's not gonna do very good now because there's so many things coming, but maybe if I send out that, everyone will die and BAM! So he's got, there's one health left on the, on the, um, on the tower because they won't actually let you kill the tower without facing the boss first. Not that the boss was very hard. I don't know, can you actually get anywhere, dude? It's gonna be really hard for you to get anywhere. So, yeah, as you can see, he's useful, but he's not gonna do everything because he's not gonna move ahead by very much. If you get another unit out here, it'll be fine. All right, we're good. It's over. Thank you, Valkyrie. So that is Awakened Bahamut, guys. As you can see, he's way different now, and it's awesome. I've got more to show you, though. Oh, let's just let's just go ahead and get this cat capsule first, all right? Yeah, what's it gonna be? It's probably gonna be one of those. Oh, never mind. It is another lizard. Is this the last one I need? Please tell me this is the last one I need. It is! Oh my god, even more to show you guys today. Finally, I have King Dragon Cat. All right, I've seen him before in pictures and stuff, guys, and I'm just like, why can't I have him? I've got like a level 30-something, uh, you know, macho legs cat, and I've, I've got a really high level, uh, what is it, island cat? I got a whole lot of cats that are high level in, uh, in the basic cats, but I couldn't get this guy. Now I got him. Great. Now, let me show you some more stuff. We also have Kai type Mew. I'm assuming that's what uh, that's what she's supposed to be called because that little sign is called Mew. So she's Kai type Mew and she's colorful now because before she was black and white. I'm saving up to get her to her true form because I hear it's like one of the best in the entire game, Divine Kai. I just need one more epic cat fruit and I need a little bit of XP. I'm gonna do that, guys. I also have Death Moon. I got it yesterday in the stream. I, I decided to play some Battle Cats in the stream, and I got one rare ticket, and I used it, and I got her. Princess Kaguya, and uh, I hear she's really good. She's good against Angel and Metal, which is awesome. She can slow them. She becomes the Death Moon, and then she becomes the Chaos Moon. So that sounds pretty cool. She's like floating up above this giant ball. It's pretty crazy. And I also have the Mighty Dreadnought. I got that one from one ticket as well. Haven't done any 11 draws. I've just been getting super lucky. My last two rare tickets gave me uber super rares. I don't know what's going on, guys. I usually have really bad luck, okay? So this guy has area attacks that deliver huge damage versus red enemies. And even though they don't say it here, it's also good against zombies. So it's a zombie killer, and zombie and red have massive damage. So this guy's pretty great. I don't have him leveled up, so he's not much good right now. I haven't even tried him out. But um, he's another huge uber that just 
does stuff. I don't know. Like I said, I haven't tried them out yet, <laughs> okay? So I'm thinking I'll just show you guys these units as they're needed because I am going to show you the Heavenly Tower today. This is the new thing that's going on. It's like a two-week event, and there are some really good rewards. Like, I just completed floor 15, and I got three cat tickets, and I think floor 20-something gives you, like, three rare tickets or... No, just one. But then if you complete floor 30, which I won't be able to do because it's supposedly... It gets really hard. It's already really tricky to get through some of these levels. But if you can complete it, you get like three cat tickets and a bunch of other stuff. Lots of really good rewards, okay? So I'm gonna get as many as I can. And and they alternate. It's like one one uh, one floor might be all angels, the next floor might be a bunch of metal, etc., etc. So let's just go into floor 16 with whatever the hell I got on me right now. And then when I find out what's in here, I'll switch loadouts. This stuff is expensive though. It takes a lot of energy to do these levels. So you don't wanna fail them. What the hell? Angels ignore anti-floating enemies. Let me just, uh, see you later. Thanks for the little sign, bro. Okay, so I want some anti-angel here by the sounds of it. I think I actually have anti-angel on right now. Totem Cat is anti-angel. He can knock back angels. And Zeus is anti-angel. And this one here, what, what's her name? Death Moon? She is also anti-angel slash anti-metal. So I guess we're okay. I guess we can go back into that level. I was just kind of scared for a second, okay? I didn't want to have a crappy loadout now that I know what's actually in here. I'm not spending 160 energy just to die. I'll probably die, but at least I'll give it a solid try now. So I did a few of these levels in the charity stream I had this weekend, guys. And uh, they started to get really tricky. So I was like, I'm not going to do any more because I don't really... Oh my god! He's coming. I didn't want to just fail again and again because I thought that'd be kind of lame for a live stream. So, yeah. Now, if I fail a bunch, you guys don't have to see everything. Hey, monkey. Stop it. Get out of here. I need to do a better job of meat shielding. <laughs> People already tell me that I'm really bad at meat shielding. Um, generally, in the Battle Cats community, I'm looked down upon for not being that good at the game. I'm sorry. Okay, there are a lot of angels here. Oh my god. I, I am not gonna be able to do this. I just, I, I'm not prepared. And I'm dead. Okay, so... What the hell is that? It was a crazy little bird and just goes, ah! And then just jumps at you. Well, no. I'm thinking meat shields. A whole bunch of meat shields for a little bit. To save up enough money to hopefully get Zeus. And then we can hopefully take out some angels, get some more money, and then get a decent loadout going. I'm gonna go ahead and start this with Rich Cat. Um, I have a bunch of Rich Cats. I don't use them that often. And uh, it will help me because it helps you gain money quicker as well as increasing your total amount. So, let's just, uh, let's just send out meat shields, okay? And as soon as we get enough for Zeus, I'll send Zeus out. And as I said, hopefully we can take out some angels then and then use that money to get a decent loadout going. All right, this is actually looking like it's gonna be pretty good. Look at that, money is going up, up, up. And Zeus time. Okay, now I wanna send an Awakened Bahamut. It's just that I don't really wanna send him right out into the, into the front line just to get murdered by that like donkey thing. Cause I don't like that donkey thing. Here they come, there it is, the ugly, oh shit. Oh no, 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 no. I did not realize there was one of these guys. These guys suck ass, guys. I don't know if you've ever seen it. Um, well, I'm sure if you're actually like, you know, a seasoned Battle Cats player, you have seen it, but it really sucks because it shoots freaking missiles. I mean, what's up with that? Why do you gotta shoot missiles? All right, I sent out a way, oh no, what was? Okay, Awakened Bahamut is still there. He got knocked back and he's dead. That was really quick. Alrighty. Well, hopefully we can take out something here and you can see this guy shooting some missiles and stuff. I'm gonna be sad if this is the level I get stuck on. I thought it would be okay, but I don't think it's gonna be okay. Come on, at least don't kill Zeus, guys. Zeus is really important to me, okay? Oh, look at that! I got all kinds of money now. Let's let's send out the Death Moon. Look at her. Isn't she crazy? You can't even see her right now. She's up above in a little tiny basket. <laughs> I think we should at least be able to get through the uh, these guys here. All right. Well, there goes the uh, there goes the little uh, the little horse donkey thing in my bob. I don't know. It's some sort of horse-like thing. We just got to get through this gorilla now, and then Mr. Missile. Look at that. It does a lot of damage. But if it's just him, I think we'll be okay. I think, guys, what would be really useful here is Bahamut. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wait. We're just gonna keep trying to whittle him down a little bit. I'll save up some money, and then as soon as we can, I'll send out Awakened Bahamut. We need to get rid of that gorilla first. Oh, gorilla, come on. No, you're gonna make my job hard, aren't you? Oh, that's not nice. Here, here, have another Paris. There we go, it's actually gone. Oh, now there's more gorillas! Great! Oh no, I was I was doing so well. 
I thought I had this. I just killed another gorilla. Come on. I just killed another gorilla. We just need to get this one. I've stacked a lot of Parises. I just need to keep pushing back on this guy. We're almost there. Don't kill my Parises now, man. Okay, look. It's time. Gotta get rid of that guy. Is that guy not gonna die? Come on. Look, see how many hits I'm actually getting with Awakened Bahamut now because of the fact he just keeps on. Oh, God. And we got hit by the freaking fish. Well, now it's just us and the fish. Go, Valkyrie, go. Stab that fish. Don't let that fish attack. Oh, he was already, he was already frozen. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that. Well, you're still alive, so keep it up, buddy. I'm kind of just wondering if this little sign guy is ever going to die because it's kind of getting in the way because I'm trying to use Awakened Bahamut on him and it's not working. But look, we're okay. It's just a couple of gorillas coming out. I'll just keep putting these units out. Eventually, I'm... Oh, God. Three gorillas at once, really? Oh, okay. Yeah, this is where I die. Thanks a lot. I'm going to level up Zeus a little bit. And I'm going to level up the Death Moon a whole bunch. Because she's pretty cheap to level up here. All right. Maybe I'll leave you at level 17. You're going to be pretty expensive to get to 20 and even more expensive to get to 30 and... I don't know if I'm I don't know if I'm even gonna upgrade her anytime soon guys But she does have a 100% slow movement of angel and metal enemies So it's really nice to have a 100% chance of doing something, you know, that's why I like apple cat so much Will we just give it another try perhaps? We'll just try again and maybe we'll do better. Oh, I got a I got a reward up here now I've actually gotten to the next one. I'm not gonna pick it up. No. Oh, I thought I hit the no button Did I hit the yes button am I am I an idiot? Well, anyway Oh, thanks for refilling my energy. I'm so pleased by this. What about putting Juliet in here? Maybe Juliet instead of Totem Cat? Juliet can stop angels. Uh, she has an area attack as well, so that, that helps. You can stop a whole bunch of angels at the same time. Right, and, uh, and we just got Death Moon up a little bit, so she might be a little bit more of a help. You know, we're gonna do better than we did last time, at least a little bit, you know? Okay, everything is coming, so Zeus, you're up, and Juliet, and Paris, and oh no. Okay, not so bad, maybe? Maybe this was a bad idea. Maybe I should not have put, a, put them all out at the same time, because now they're super close to the base. Hey, you! Hey, you, stop that! Stop that, I will slap you! Okay, so we just killed something. That's gonna help us a little bit. Trying to keep them away, trying to do some damage. This was not good. I should have I should have stopped them before they got so close to the base. Now I just got all this anxiety. And he's shooting at me! The fish is shooting its missiles! Okay, so I actually stopped them before they finished destroying the base. So, uh... I don't know. It's probably not going to make a difference. I can't even get any shots off with Juliet because she her range is just so bad. Come on, Juliet! I upgraded you to your true form for nothing! No, hey, stop it. Stop it. So this time, guys... This time I waited too long. You shouldn't wait too long. This time I'll send out, I'll send it like a Titan as soon as I can, okay? And then I'll just keep meat shielding. That way they'll have a bit more, a bit more pushback. So they're not so close to the base. And then when I get Zeus, I'll put Zeus out and we'll see what happens. I'm gonna have to look up a, a guide for this one or something. Jamira's going out right away. All right, just for a little bit of extra pushback, hopefully. We'll see. Oh, and there goes Jamira, dead as hell. <laughs> It's okay, guys. I got a Zeus coming. I kind of want to put Bahamut out. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to do it, okay? Get the hell out of here, bitch. I actually think this guy might be able to do enough damage in single hits to uh, to save up for Zeus. Yeah, okay. That's cool. And now he's dead. All right, well, he served his purpose, right? He, he bought me a little bit of time. Now we're nice and far away from our base. And I'll just try and spam Paris's now or something. And we'll get rid of the birds. And we'll get rid of the horse thing. And we'll we'll kill everybody. Alright, so now we're at the point where we're actually at this angel. What do we need to do now? We need to get Awakened Bahamut back. And he's ready! Look at him go! Alright, bam! Hit him once. And look out, because you're going to get wrecked. Okay, that's fine. Well, I'll just be slow for a little bit. That's cool with me. Bam, got him again. Knocked him back. That's all we want, guys. Buy some time, right? Hit him again. Nice. Can we hit him twice? We can hit him twice before he shoots again. And look at this. I'm actually going to stop his attack as well. And got us. Okay, now he's dead. But look at all this time we just bought. And I'm going to send out the Death Moon. And look at how far back he is now. You're not getting to my base, bro. I'm getting to your base. And I'm going to kill you. As you can see, all these angels are slow because the Death Moon slowed him down. Thanks, Death Moon. Do an attack again. And she got knocked back and she died. Oh, boy. I'm stacking Parises, though, bro. I'm stacking Parises. And they're pushing me back, which means I don't even get hit by this fish's attack. The fish missiles. Screw those things. Okay, so I got him, but now... Crap. This guy's kind of in the way. 
Oh, it's good. We got it. We slapped him. Move, 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 move. Okay. All right. Hit him again. And we should be able to get two hits in here. Right? Good. Got a couple of hits in. Three. Three hits. Wham. Okay, a third hit. And now he's not dead. He's not dead. He's coming back as soon as he's not slow anymore. And the fish is dead. Ding, ding. The fish is dead. He gave us a lot of, uh, a lot of money for that. So I'm just going to send out all my stuff now. Okie dokie. Y'all didn't believe in me, did you? You thought I was gonna just lose until I gave up, but no. And now I have a whole five blue cat fruit seeds. Oh, man. You know, if you combine 10 cat fruit seeds, you get a cat fruit. I mean, who's gonna do that? That sounds like the lamest thing ever. Well, that was great. Now, I can't I can't say for sure that floor 17 is gonna be harder than floor 16. It might actually be easier. I'm gonna poke in there for like two seconds, okay? Well, less than 10 seconds so we can take a look. Oh, it's aliens. Okay. Cool. Well, let's go get an anti-alien loadout. Probably one of my favorites, guys. I have a lot of these dudes. I've been told to upgrade Catman, and I understand. It's just a lot of XP, and I got so many things I want to upgrade. I want to see all the different forms of cats, okay? And Catman doesn't even have a true form, so it's not as incentivized for me. All right, bitches, bring it on. Let's go. I have, a, I have enough energy right now for two more tries at this. Well, this try and one more after this. So... Let's see what happens, huh? I'm just gonna send out Castaway. Go, Castaway, go! You can do it all by yourself! I'll send out a couple of meat shields as well, okay? Because they're gonna come for him. Oh! They got him! You guys already know why I love Castaway so much. Oh, here comes... A butterfly. Oh, is he like a super range one? He seems to be pretty far back. He's just hitting my meat shields. That's, that's fine. This might actually be a really good time to just save up some money. I'm not super concerned about this one uh, moth butterfly thing. I mean, he's taking out a lot of my dudes, but look at my money going up. Who cares, right? I will send out Aphrodite when I'm good and ready. Awakened Bahamut is going to be saved for when the, uh, the boss of the level comes out. Because you know that a boss is coming, guys. That's why this is not very hard. It's just a moth. I could get past this if I wanted. I just don't want to. Here comes Aphrodite. Wham. All right, so that's a little bit taken off. Took out a couple of dudes. And she's moving a bit closer so, so she can take out the moth as well. Oh, somebody else did it. Wow. Okay, well, let me put out some stuff because we have a lot of money. Touch the base. Let's see what happens. Oh, Jesus, that's a bun bun. Bun bun, stop it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send out Awakened Bahamut right now. All right, just to smack some bitches. Smack those bitches. So we have um, Alien Bun Bun. And we have this guy with the ugly haircut. I don't know what, what he's called, but he's the ugly haircut pig thing. All right. And, uh, and we have some pretty powerful um, kangaroos as well. This is going to be a tricky one. But hey, I got lots of money. And I got uh, most of my Ubers out. I don't, I don't have Awakened Bahamut, but technically he's not an Uber. So, eh. I have a lot of money, too. And I'm actually freezing Bun Bun. And I have the, uh, the boar killed already. And Bun Bun just got knocked back and slowed. Bitch, you just got wrecked. You just got shown the door. You better walk through it. He's frozen again. Look at that. This is turning out not to be that bad of a level, guys. I gotta, I gotta say, it's probably because of Aphrodite. Aphrodite makes everything better. We also have a whole bunch of uh, Psycho Cats here, guys. Oh, they died. Okay, well, we had a bunch of Psycho Cats, and they have pretty good range. And they're also slowing this guy down. Or they were. There's some coming back again. I have enough money to put out anything that comes available. Bam! Oh, look at that! We just got rid of the sloth, and now it's just this Bun Bun. He seems scary at first. I mean, he's got eyes on some sort of, like, antenna thingies. You know, like a like the Gary the Snail from Spongebob. That's, that's creepy, man. Oh, here comes Bahamut. Bam! Okay, he got punched, and he hit him again, and he died. Thanks, Bahamut. Look at this. Look at how much damage he does. Boom. 100,000 damage. Like nothing. So if you just need to do a quick 100,000 damage on something, just send him out, and he'll do one punch, and it's all over. Thank you very much. And now, floor 18. Same thing, guys. We're going to go in there for a couple of seconds, and we're just going to see what we got to work with here. We might not see anything. I don't know. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. So it looks to me like it might be a floating level. I mean, all we saw was uh, a giant head. So that could mean there's going to be more floating things. It could be one of those levels where one of those Dobermans come out. And then they just get in the front and do their shockwave and everybody cries. I cry. I just assume everyone else cries too. Well, either way, let's just go for our anti-floating loadout. I think this is my anti-floating loadout. It's a something loadout. We got Sanzo over here and he's good. 
and uh, and we've got Megadora, and we've got uh, we've got Nurse. Nurse is good against floating and black, so let's give this a try. All right, so we got lots of time, guys. I'm just gonna try. Oh no, that guy's got legs. Why does the head have legs? Oh no. Oh stop it. Stop it, Mr. Head. You're gonna make things difficult for me. Put those legs away. All right. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and put out uh, Nurse. Please and thank you. Can you can you do some damage here? No, you can't. Oh, that's that's a shame because we're dying. We're dying a whole bunch. Oh, oh, what's coming out now? What is this shit? What is this guy? Is he floating? Oh. Oh. There's zombies here. There's some sort of floating thing. What in the hell is this level? I'm going to look it up, okay? Because I don't I don't know what these guys are. I guess I could look them up in this thing maybe in the enemy guide, right? All right, look at this one, guys. This is the unit right here, Lord Gravy. It's a zombie unit. Some squatter has made his home in Zog's grave. How rude. Whoever this mysterious cadaver is, his will to rock seems to be alive and well. So we're going to need a good anti-zombie unit. And luckily, I have Dreadnought now. So I guess we'll upgrade Dreadnought a little bit and then send him out and give him a try. He's probably going to do some failing because he's not that strong. But what else do we have here? We have nothing else that's going to be good against zombies. It's not even that much to upgrade him to level 10. I have enough to do that. And now he is BCS Lionheart, boasting a complement of elite marines and a drill able to punch through any hull. The Lionheart delivers huge area damage versus reds and zombies. Alrighty then, let's give that a try. Well, I mean, we might as well level this guy up a little bit more considering it's kind of cheap to do so. There you go, now you're level 13. Let's do it. I don't have much experience with zombie levels, guys. I've only really done the ones in the zombie outbreaks. So yeah, I'm, I'm not promising too much here, but I do have a loadout going. I've got uh, Heavyweight Cat and Pole Vaulter Cat here, two good uh, anti-zombie cats. And I also have Lionheart put in. Now. I put in a Matarazu and Megadora. That may be too many Ubers, but I know that a Matarazu is good against everything with a trait, and I know Megadora is good against floating, and I think there is some floating. I mean, there's the head, but I think there's also something else that was floating as well. So let's give that a try now. I'm using Valkyrie, guys. I don't really know what else to do here. I couldn't save up in time to get anything else, and these guys are super strong. I got a whole lot of Parises working on them, but doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot. No, 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 no. Nope. Rich Cat and Sniper Cat are here, guys. Rich Cat's gonna help me get some more money. Sniper Cat's gonna keep them away. I'm not sending anything out. I'm not sending anything out until I get an Uber. Look, that just killed some things. Good, that's gonna make me some money. Okay, so here he comes, and gotta send a little bit out there now. Didn't mean to send out that guy, but it's okay. Amaterasu, please destroy all the scrubs. Please, please, please. Don't touch the base. Stop touching the... <laughs> I don't have enough time. This this guy is way too strong, guys. I don't know what to do with him. He has no trait. I can't I can't do a lot of damage to him because of that. They just run at the base, and I don't know the strategy for slapping the shit out of him. Okay, I don't I don't. Nope, 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 nope. Let's just take a look online and see what it says, and then I'm gonna end the video. Okay, I'm just curious now. You know what, guys? Maybe Craze Giraffe will be good here because Craze Giraffe could take out a lot of the units really quickly. It might be able to get me a little bit more money and it would push them back more. Hmm, I don't know, I'm gonna look it up. So from what I can tell, guys, a lot of meat shields helps because that guy chews really hard. If we could maybe hold him back with some meat shields, we could do a little bit more damage, keep him away from the base, and maybe give it another try. I wasn't gonna give it another try, but after watching a video of someone else doing it, they have really good units, by the way, but after watching that video, I'm like, hey, I could maybe pull this off in the future. Final attempt, here's how it's gonna go. We're gonna start off by sending out a crazed giraffe to pick up a little bit of extra money. Is that a bad idea? Who knows? But let's do it anyway, all right? Bam, look at this. Oh yeah, money for me. Who wants to give me some money? Oop, he's not dead. He's not dead, he's still going. He's holding him off, he's making me money. Get out of here, you. And then we're just gonna meet shield. I should have put in, um, instead of, instead of, uh, Mohawk, I should have put in the wall cat and I didn't do that so we'll see we'll see where this goes but dragon we're gonna send out dragon here and we're gonna send out you and we're gonna send out you so let's get lots of uh, lots of range going here no your meat shields aren't good enough yeah I know it sucks I don't have any of the eraser cats not the craze version not the regular version and I hate it I'm kind of thinking maybe I'm not gonna be able to get any further than this level because I don't have 
a super good loadout, okay? And uh, this particular stage set, the Heavenly Tower, is designed for all levels of difficulty. So you can go through a little bit of it and get a few good things, yay, and then, you know, you could be done. Or you can get a little bit further, you can get to level 18 and then not be able to get any further. Some people will get to level 30 and finish it all off. I will not be one of those people. Goodbye.